thanks to the supporters of channel member Matthew Wally. Well, folks, we have done our best to wobble and bottle this, but fingers crossed, if all goes to plan, today we win promotion to the Football League for the first time in Tamworth's history. Hello and welcome to part 18 of Non-League to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have as many games as it takes for us to get promoted into the Football League, but at least a couple. So, you know, if we get promoted right now, we're not, we're not just going to end the episode. There'll be, a, there'll be at least a couple. Don't try and guess the outcome based on the length of the episode, you absolute monsters. Since you were last with me, um, as you can see, form has continued to be erratic, uh, but we do find ourselves seven points clear at the top of the league with three games to go. It should be relatively straightforward. It should be a formality for us to get over the finish line here. It, sh it should be. We're away against Swindon first up, who are down in sixth place. Um, we've then got uh, Old Tringham at home, who are in seventh place. And then on the final day, it's Torquay away who are down in 14th place. We just need, based on the goal difference that we've got, two points. So one win or two draws in these final three matches, and we are fine. I would obviously very much like to wrap it up in the first of the three, which seems to be a Friday evening kickoff. It is a Friday evening kickoff, but not on the telly. What's that all about, Swindon? Why is this a Friday evening kickoff? I'm confused. We have also done our young Premier League player pre-transfers. They've all been arranged. They're going to be joining us at the end of the episode today. Three defenders, one from Man United, one from Crystal Palace, one from Arsenal, and a striker from Manchester United. So you'll meet them when they arrive at the club. But for now, this is the team to go and win the league, to go and beat Swindon. It's Rose in goal, a back four of Clayton, Brown, Kingdon and Paul, Deeney and Brook in midfield, a Camrich, Berry and Domenge behind. Evans up front. Let's get this team submitted and let's get promoted to the Football League. That's the goal here. Um, but we've uh, <laughs> we've definitely made harder work of it in this second half of the season than we needed to. But fingers crossed, we do have enough to drag us over the finish line. And one thing to bear in mind, and we talked a little bit about this on stream the other day, and it is something for us to consider if we get promoted. So this might be Tempting fate to talk about this before the promotion's even secured. Um, but I'm a part-time manager here at Tamworth at the moment, which means I also have a full-time job alongside it. I'm earning £325 a week at Tamworth. Um, I also have a 50% promotion pay rise, so that's going to go up to around £500 a week. But my my uh, my reality in full role-play mode in non to Legend is I'm also doing a full-time job on let's say, the UK average salary of around about £30,000 a year. So if we get promoted, we automatically go full-time. I'll be expected to go full-time, which means I'm going to need a significant pay rise to stay at Tamworth if we get promoted. We could find ourselves in a situation where we get promoted and I have to resign because they don't give me enough of a pay rise. I need to be on like one and a half grand a week to be able to justify doing this job full time and giving up the day job. It's a little complication we've never had before in non-league to legend, but we're not usually still part-time when we're on the verge of getting promoted to the Football League. And it's something very much needs to be considered. And just to make sure I'm not being a maniac, I have gone through and checked the manager salaries of all the teams in League Two. They're all earning around that. They're, they're all earning like one and a half, some as high as four grand a week as managers in League Two. So it's not an unrealistic thing for me to expect. I'm not sure if it's something that Tamworth would consider realistic, though. So we would could genuinely find ourselves, if I'm presented with the ultimatum of go full-time or leave, I'll have to leave because I'll be earning more from my day job than in-game, and then we'll just have to find another job. And I have no idea if I just resign after a promotion, after back-to-back -back promotions, I have no idea what level I'm likely to get a job at, whether we have to go back into non-league and do another part-time job, whether we'll have to whether we'll be able to get a job higher at the pyramid. It's a little twist that might be on the verge of happening, and it just got a step closer because Adam Berry has just scored an absolute worldie to put us 1-0 up. We have, got, we have got one foot in the Football League, which is very exciting. I will cut Tamworth a little bit of slack if we get promoted here and go full-time immediately, which I 
I have seen happen in Football Manager before. It sometimes happens at the end of the season, sometimes happens immediately on promotion. I will see out the season. I'm not a complete maniac. However, there will be contract discussions and we might not get as far as a transfer special tomorrow. Or it could be the playoffs tomorrow if things go really badly. Who knows? Lots of things that could potentially still happen. Lots of interesting little twists. Role play mode. Full on realist. And I, I, you know what? I know a lot of you will hate it as well. If I end up quitting from Tamworth after back to back promotions, I know a lot of you will hate it. But we, we role play. We go full on realism. Nobody's giving up their full time job for a uh, for a job that pays far less especially if they were doing a full-time job and a part-time job at the same time before, and they're being asked to go down on even less money. just doesn't work like that, boys and girls. <laughs> After that entire speech, I imagine they'll just offer me two grand a week now and I'll stay. But uh, who knows? I've, I don't remember being in this situation before. I don't remember ever being promoted to the Football League with a team that was still part-time, certainly not in non league Legend. I'm sure the non league Legend historians will correct me and let me know all the times that has happened, but I don't remember it happening. And if it has happened, I don't think I've ever thought about it in that kind of detail before, but I should have done. That's a fault on past non league Legend, Kev, not current Kev. We're going to take off Clayton because he's picked up an injury. Idahen is now able to play left back relatively comfortably, so he can come on and play there after us forcing that for a couple of years. Oh, of course, we don't have a backup striker. I remember. Um, so Yusuf will go up front. Lee, he can come on onto that left-hand side. We've got 20 minutes to go. If we manage to hold on here, we do win the league. We'd be seven points clear with two games to go. Woking, I think, are winning as well, but it doesn't matter. They're running out of games. It's nothing to do with form at this point. It's that lead that we have had from earlier on in the season when we were all conquering and they are just running out of games. Shakuna is going to come on for the final 10 minutes or so. Come on, boys. Let's just hold on. Let's get ourselves over this finish line. I don't know why we're looking at Riggy, Ricky Aguiar, but we're not interested in him. We're interested in winning the league. We are moments away. Please don't give us one of those annoying twists, football manager. I know your game here. I know what you're about to do. Swindon are going to go and grab an equaliser, aren't they? And it's going to be very, very upsetting. But come on, boys. Shakuna wins the ball back in midfield. And now a Camrich spraying it out onto the left-hand side for Lee. who has got options inside of him. Lee, he goes past his man, pulls it back to a Camrich. You can't push it past the goalkeeper. That would have been a lovely moment to just confirm the promotion. Alex Dini, what did Yusuf do there? Um, well, Dini had it in the back of the net. It doesn't count. And meanwhile, Yusuf's been sent off. And I have no idea why. We'll put Shakuna up front just so that we have a striker on the pitch. Are we able to just see the incident? I just want to see what he actually did there. So rather than watching the ball and watching Dini put it in the back of the net from miles out, I want to see the actual incident. So there's a camera. He's on a yellow card at that point. Sprays it. All eyes on him. What does he do? So he has the shot there. I'm still watching him, still watching him. What did he... I mean... It's not clear what he did, even in the commentary. I think he's just clobbered the guy as the ball's gone past him. Inexplicable. What a moment of absolute madness. Um, but it's Deeney playing it out to Lee now. We've got five minutes of added time here. And now we're down to ten men. Football manager does like to make things complicated, doesn't it? Oh, for goodness sake. Now is not the time. Now is absolutely not the time for this. Just get through it, boys. There we go. We've got through it. Hopefully that's the end of the alien invasions. I tell you what, getting into the football league will be lovely because that won't happen anymore. Over on Twitch, where we're now managing in a 45,000 capacity stadium, I've not had it happen for like three streams. So it very much is a small stadium issue. So as soon as we're out of non-league, it's going to happen far less frequently. Or to be fair, Swindon don't exactly have a non-league stadium, do they? Domenge playing it back to Brook. Brook now across to Deeney, to Leahy, and he scores. And Tamworth are in the Football League. That's not getting disallowed. That's 2-0. That was very unselfish from Ellis Deeney as well, because he was in a position where I would have just hit it, especially after having, uh, having one disallowed for the moment of madness from a camera which before I hit it there if I'm him he plays it to Deeney Deeney actually has a more difficult shot he's got a guy closing him down but 
slides it into the back of the net. It's 2-0. That is Tamworth as champions. And we should get the trophy lift. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. A proper trophy lift. We've got the goal. <laughs> the goal is going crazy behind us. It's just a very strong wind. Don't worry, don't worry about that, boys and girls. Girls, it's fine. Just a just a strong wind in that one particular part of the ground. But here comes the trophy lift. There's me. Look how delighted I am. Big barrel chested curve. I'm just made of pure muscle and Tamworth are in the Football League. That animation has got so much better than it was last year. I love this angle. It is awesome. And that is job done. Back-to-back -back promotion secured. Now I guess we just have to find out if we're going to go full-time immediately and what that means for my contract. And also contracts of the players, because obviously there'll be lots of players left on part-time contracts as well. Obviously, if they let me carry on part-time, I'll carry on part-time. So I could end up doing another year here, managing them part-time whilst the club is full-time. I just won't be signing a full-time contract unless it's on significantly more money than I'm on currently because it doesn't make any sense to do that. Right. Um, there you go. So they do want to turn professional. Hi, guys. We'd like your opinion on whether the club should look to turn professional. Obviously, we're going to be in the Football League. So I guess we're going to turn professional immediately. There's our budgets for next season. So they are not necessarily the budgets of a professional team. I think it might be a tough season next year. Goodness me. Um, but there's all your confirmations of us winning various... Oh, okay, they've immediately offered me a new contract on £350 a week, which actually is less than I'm going to be getting. I'm on 325 at the moment with a 50% promotion pay rise. This could be the leaving Tamworth moment in the same clip where we've won the league. Because I am absolutely not interested in that salary. It needs... They can't even offer me what I need. I'm just walking away. Well, have they forced me to go full-time? So we're turning professional in June. So I think my contract at the moment is still part-time. It is still part-time. So as long as I'm allowed to carry on part-time, I'm fine. If they at any point force me into full-time, they need to pay me full-time money or we're done. Let's go play the last game of the season against Torquay. Well, we lost comfortably against Altrincham in a, in a game where we put a rotated team out and we are going to be rotating again for this one. No point playing the loan players at this point in the season. We actually brought Ben Aquay back from his loan. Well, his loan ended at Kidderminster. He started the last match. His first start of the season got injured inside two minutes. So that's him never playing for us again. Kakuri is still on holiday. This man's for it. That's he's had must have had twelve weeks worth of holiday during this season. He needs to. Uh, he really needs to start playing full time, I guess, so that he can get his fitness levels up a little bit. But we are going with Van Kooten in goal, a back for of Paul Idahen Kingdom and Sears Brook and Antwi in midfield. Lee Shakuna and Finn behind a Camrich up front. Let's get this team submitted. I um I've been pondering more and more this financial situation, both my personal one as manager. Oh, for goodness sake. And also the team Antwi now injured inside a minute. That's the second game in a row where we've had a very, very early injury. Um, but looking at the budget that we've been given, it does make next season's job incredibly difficult, whether I'm here or not, because we're currently paying like £15,000 a week in wages. And we've only got a team of like 15 players. They've put the salary up to 20,000. All those part-timers we've got now need to go full-time. And we need to realistically add five or six players into the mix as well. The numbers just don't add up. I think it's going to be a very, very, very difficult challenge to make this Tamworth team competitive, at least competitive on the pitch whilst staying anything remotely financially solvent on it. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. I just hope they give me enough money to have a play around with it because I'd quite like to. Seems like it could be fun. Maybe I would do it. If they give me the grand a week, which was the maximum of what they negotiate, maybe I'd do it for that. It would involve an overall pay cut, but maybe, maybe I'd take a small pay cut just because the challenge looks interesting. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments section what you'd do. I am interested in what you'd do. I know there's going to be... A significant number of you probably take the view of Kev. It's a computer game. 
just keep managing Tamworth. It's it's not real money. But that's not how non-league to legend works. And if you're not familiar with the rules, go back and watch the rules. There was a rules episode that came out the day before the series started that didn't directly address this specific issue, but did explain that there would be some decisions made in non-league to legend that you didn't necessarily agree with because they would be based on what I would do in real life, not what I'd do in a computer game or what you would do in a computer game or even what you would do in real life. So. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to know what you would do. It probably won't have any say on the decision I make, but I still would like to know if I'm if I'm going massively against public opinion by, you know, insisting that I can pay my bills, which is always nice. Uh, Van Kooten collecting the ball at the as the goalkeeper. It'd be quite nice to see him continue to develop. Obviously, we signed him when he was 15 years old. It'd be nice to keep him around for another year and just see him eventually become a first-team quality player. I don't know that he's necessarily got it in him. When we signed him, he was a five-star potential player. He's down to three and a half stars now, and we've got he's going to be moving up a league again next year. So I suspect he's one of those where if we'd have stayed in the National League North, he'd be getting ready to be our starting goalkeeper in the near future. But I don't know that he's necessarily going to be a, a Football League quality goalkeeper at 18 years old. Probably needs a, a few more years of development to see if he can push on that little bit further and I suspect he'll probably end up dropping down into non-league and probably playing quite regularly down at non-league level which is fine it's a good level for him to be at he can have a full-time job alongside it after all like we were just saying right we are we're not really creating very much at all here are we uh Torquay I mean there's a lot of people crammed into the ground say a Torquay able to win promotion if so I hope we're not getting fined for rotating the team I don't think that's a thing in football manager but they are no they're down in 14th why do they care why have they got so many people here how many people are here three and a half thousand people we get that from big FA Cup game um, we're just we're not a big enough team to play in the football league are we goodness me um, right they uh, it's Torquay camping out on the edge of our area again can we can we do something please lads I'm offering some encouragement because we're not really we're not really generating anything and it's not that we've got a massively rotated team the midfield is our one that we've played all year. The the attacking midfield, oh, the front four, really, are all players who've featured regularly throughout the season. Shakuna and Thin, more often than not, off the bench. But they've still been in and around the squad that's got 99 points this season. And the back four could have easily been a starting back four. Yes, the goalkeeper's rotated, which is why stuff like that's going to happen. But that's not going to stop us from creating anything, which seems to be the more pertinent problem that we're having today. There's no one at the Pims tent, which is also something of a problem for the good Pims sellers of Torquay. Uh, we don't want to see the replay. I don't want to be reminded that Van Kooten's probably never going to be good enough. What I want to know is why we're not creating anything going forward. We have got Evans on the bench, who we could pretend... Oh, we haven't got Evans on the bench because he's a lone player, so I didn't see the point in having him on the bench. We've got Adam Berry on the bench, who, of course, has been a hugely important player for us this season. Just really not using him at the moment because he's one of the few players who I would say is probably nailed on for next year. Um, Berry, Kakuri, that's probably it. As uh, Yusuf probably as well as the ones that are nailed on to be involved next year. Everyone else's spot is very much up for grabs, although it's going to be difficult to do a full-on rebuild like we did last summer when we're having to sign full-time players on full-time money with the budgets that we've got. We probably need that budget that we've got to double for us to be able to bring in significantly improved players, which I, so I suspect we're not going to be able to. But we shall see. Deeney plays it across to Brook. And now Paul, on this left-hand side, can't keep the ball in, goes out of play. We're going to go attack in here and just demand more. Ever since we won the league, we've looked like we're not interested anymore, which I guess on the one hand is fair enough. But on the other hand, one of the great things about being promoted is the morale boost you get at the start of the next season that allows you to get some points on the board in the next league and if we go into the next season with three defeats from four we're not necessarily going to have that big morale boost next season and we might not start the season in incredible form and if we don't start the season in incredible form I know what a newly promoted season feels like because we've had it this year you start in great form and then it tails off as the season goes on as you accumulate injuries as players start to get tired as that initial buzz starts to wear off 
So we kind of need the buzz or we're going to come straight back down. Um, Yusuf grabs a goal to grab us the equaliser. We will we'll watch the replay of this one because it's our boy doing it. Finn with the cross. It ends up out wide with Lee. He just plays it back across the face of goal, looping it over the goalkeeper. And Yusuf Akamrich is there to nod it home to make it 1-1. Can we grab a winner, please? We're going to stay attacking. We would like a winning goal. Come on, gentlemen. We've got Berry on the bench. I think we probably bring Berry on here. Um, in fact, that's an easy decision because Leahy is now injured. So Berry can come on on the left-hand side. We've got Clayton and Brown on the bench as well. But for now, we will leave them on the bench and bring one on with 10, 15 minutes to go. If someone really starts to tire, we're going to offer some more encouragement. We can't yet. Come on, boys. Do a football, for goodness sake. This is... This is another really tame performance from us, but a Camrich runs towards the Torquay defenders, plays it back across to Ellis Dini. It's got, this is definitely his final game for the club this time. We've already set him to release. So we thought we were done with him this time last year. He's been involved in a promotion as our vice captain and penalty taker. He is definitely done now. What an, what an unexpected story for him. He is a staff member. We haven't offered him a staff job, but we could potentially offer him a staff job and keep him around because he has been a surprisingly important player for us this season. So maybe we'll offer Elistini a staff job. We, are, we have got a couple of coach spots that have opened up. Uh, Finn plays it out to Berry. 15 minutes to go. Berry slides it across goal and Shakuna is there. And that might just be the last Nathan Shakuna goal you see on this year's non-leader legend because I suspect he's one of the ones that is going to be let go this summer. It's one of the reasons why we started him today because he was a hero for us in the first year. And despite being a rotation player for us this year, that's still his seventh goal of the season. He's still playing well we're two one up and uh, i think for my final change we're going to take off kyle finn to get him a standing ovation because he's probably done as well um clayton can come on to play on the left barry can move over onto the right i'm sure he'll be fine over there and uh, we'll just drop back down to a positive mentality and hopefully see out the game from here although torquay have a corner immediately upon us uh, making the substitution. Brooke trying to get it clear. He has two attempts at that and just heads it up in the air both times and it doesn't get clear, but luckily the shot goes over. Remains 2-1. We've been comfortably the better team, but uh, we have got Van Kooten in goal, so there's always the chance that a stray, talky shot ends up in the back of the net and we all get very sad on our final day down in non-league. Ellis Dini's captain. I think that's quite appropriate. And there you go. We have won on the final day, which I think puts us over 100 points. It does. 101 points on the board. That's quite a good season by anybody's measure. Um, Antwi and Leahy both picking up those injuries in that match. But there we have it, boys and girls. We have won the National League. We have won back-to-back -back promotions. In fact, for Tamworth, it's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back because at the start of last season, they were newly promoted as well. Tamworth are in the Football League and now the big question mark going into tomorrow is, is tomorrow's episode going to be a transfer special or a job hunt? And we'll find out based on my next conversation with the board. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.